Yo, what is up guys? My name is Eric and today I'm gonna be showing you guys another really cool card trick Um, this is like a variation of uh, This trick I learned this before but this is like a different version and I know I haven't taught the version I know but it's whatever this version has a uh, more effective uh, More effective Reaction thingy on the spectator. So let's just get right into the performance. So we have a normal deck of cards, and usually when a magician says that, it's not a normal deck of cards, but we'll shuffle it to make it fair. All right, now we'll have, if we had a spectator, they would select a card, and let's see, say they select the king of clubs. We're gonna take your card right there, king of clubs, we're gonna take your card, place it in the middle of the deck, and then just cut the deck a few times. We'll even shuffle it. You can cut the deck again. And we'll do one more shuffle real quick. All right. So now, if I had a spectator, I would tell them to imagine taking their card out from the deck and holding it, okay? So right now, they just took out their card. They're imagining taking their card out. Now, I would ask them to name a number between 5 and 15. They would say they said 7. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, wouldn't it be cool if this card right here was yours? They'd probably say, yes. That's not your card because you're holding your card. You literally just took it out of the deck. Now, since you are holding your card, I want you to place your card right here face up, okay? So... Once they do that, watch. So you were holding your card. The card I showed you in the seventh position wasn't yours, but since you just placed it there face up, watch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There is your card where you placed it. Seventh position, face up, the king of clubs. That's the trick and let's get right into the tutorial. All right guys, welcome to the tutorial. This trick is very simple to do. It's just a little bit of misdirection and this is completely not set up. So you can do this with any deck. So to start off, you wanna have your spectator select the card. In this case, it will be the seven of clubs. What you wanna do is you wanna control their card to the top. And in the performance, I did a double undercut and I just got their card to the top. And you just wanna just keep uh, shuffling the deck a little bit so it doesn't seem like there's a force or like your card, their card is on top. You just don't want them to make it them think it's here. So from here, you want to tell them to imagine taking their card out from the deck and holding it, okay? Then, you want to give a range of numbers, so ask them to pick a number between 1 and 20 or 5 and 15. I did 5 and 15 because whatever number they say, that's the amount of cards you're dealing down. So the lower the number, the better, because it won't take as long. So say they said 9 in this case, so we deal out 9 cards, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And if you didn't realize, the first card you dealt down right here is theirs. So from this point, you want to say, wouldn't it be cool if this card right here was yours? And you're going to say, was that your card? And, well, you're not going to say, was that your card? Because you know that's not theirs. You're going to say, that's not your card because you're holding your card. And if you didn't see what I did, is I just caught a pinky break under their card or above their card. I'm sorry. So here's the rest of the deck and here's their card. I caught a pinky break. I just did a pinky pull down and I caught a break. So from this point, you're gonna say, like I said, you're gonna say, that's not your card cause you're holding your card. And you're gonna do some misdirection here. What I did for the performance is I just took it out of the frame. But what you would wanna do is place this card on top and then you wanna flip this bottom card over and to do this to a person in real life, you would wanna say their name so they make eye contact with you, and while they're looking at you, just flip it over, all right? Don't make it 
like a big deal or anything don't look down at the deck when you do it make eye contact with them and while they're, you're looking at them just flip it over and make sure you flip it over like you lift the pack high enough so when you flip it over it doesn't make a sound if it hits the deck like this make sure it does not make that sound so I lift it up a little bit and just to do that okay so now their bottom card or their card is flipped over and what you what you say to them is you're holding your card and what I want you to do is place it on top of the deck face up and then once they do that you place the rest of the pile on top make sure not to flash the, their card or flash the card that's flipped over and from here you say since you placed your card face up it's gonna be in the ninth position now or whatever number they said so you start dealing out cards again one two three four five six seven eight nine and all of a sudden their card is flipped over face up and they're just amazed so I hope you guys did enjoy this trick if you guys did it leave a like and a comment and if you're new to my channel please subscribe make sure to hit that notifications button and as always I'll see you guys in the next video peace